So after months of being closed, the UK government have announced that gyms are allowed to reopen. From Saturday the 25th, people will be able to get back into their gyms for the first time in months. We've been working really, really hard here at Gymshark to make sure that the Gymshark Lifting Club is as safe as possible. And I'm so excited today to show you around the new COVID proof Gymshark Lifting Club. Come on, man. Same as what we've got at the headquarters. You're checking in and out of the toilets and changing rooms. Only eight people allowed in at once. And when you go in, you have to swipe this so it shows as red. And obviously when you come out, you swipe it back so it goes to green. And then we've got a one-way system, exactly the same as in the headquarters that goes all the way throughout the entire building. So if we come down here, which is weird because we, we, we're driving on the right here, whereas in the UK, we drive on the left. So that's a bit confusing, but um, yeah. I'm going to just quickly jump over here um, and talk you through the sweat studio. So as you can see, previously we would have a lot more people in this room than this. Whereas now we've got the, uh, the gaps in terms of keeping everyone safe at a nice social distance from each other. And you're only going to have what looks like seven people in this room. And this is a fairly large room. You'll be able to see the taping on the floor to keep people separate and in front of pretty much as far as, as, far as I'm aware, every single machine in the entire building. Uh, you've got disinfectant spray as well, so we can be disinfecting every single machine after use. So, main gym. And this feels really, really eerie and weird right now because this was literally the social hub of Gymshark. Before work, lunchtime, after work, it would always be rammed in here. People will be able to book into slots so that we can basically make sure that the gym does not go over capacity. But as you can see, it's a very, very different place to how it looked a few weeks ago. So as you can see, every single piece of equipment, whether it's where you go and pick up the plate, whether it's a plate loading machine, a pin loading machine, free weights, they're all covered in this tape so that you can see the sort of space that you need to be occupying whilst you're in there and it just keeps people at a safe distance apart. We've made use of the stretch space here, so we've moved machinery over here. But now, if you see in the background, this sort of space vortex Star Trek looking stuff, this is where the cardio equipment is and we should pair it, be able to, here we go, jump in here and have a look at the COVID safe version of our treadmills and cardio equipment. And as you can see, um, everything is completely isolated. So if you're running in here, if you're sweating, if you're breathing heavily, you're not gonna be uh, making any contact with the people next to you. Uh, it's a bit of a weird experience not being able to see anything. All I can see looking forward is just this sort of perspex stuff. But again, it's a whole new world and we need to make sure that we're keeping every single person that accesses this gym safe. Like I said, it's, it's, it's the social hub. It's where people would come before work, after work, and it's so important to the fabric of the Gymshark culture. So if we follow the one-way system back around, and it's good actually because you can walk around the entirety of the gym with this one-way system and you're never too close to anyone. Like even now, I'm not even getting close to any of the, um, the sort of separated white taped areas. Um, it's, a, it's a really good setup to be fair. So we used to have 10 or so row machines all down here. They've all had to have been put away. This is where the yard will come in handy as well because talking about ventilation, we've got an amazing opportunity to keep the gym super ventilated. Quite lucky as well because it's summer and it's a lot warmer this time of year. Um, and people can come and lift and train and do whatever outside as well, which is again, really, really useful. And just another huge uh, pro of having the lifting club here in, built in the way that it is. Coming over here, dumbbell area, which to be fair, I think we've got the same amount of benches now than what we did. So I think we were making good use of the space before in terms of keeping things fairly, fairly separate, which is nice. And again, disinfectant spray by every single bench so that as you are using things, you're disinfecting it every single time. So yeah, we're slowly getting used to this whole new normal and the property team here have done such an amazing job. Throughout COVID, they've been running online workouts for the staff here at Gymshark, trying to keep everyone physically and mentally healthy. And I'm a firm believer that the gym is so, so, so important, obviously to physical health, but mental health too. For those of you that know, the lifting club is made up of a lot more than just the gym. So we'll do you guys a tour around the rest of the office and show you what we've done. So through here, we've got the factory, the app studio and the town hall. So this is the stuff in the lifting club that we'll use on a more day-to-day -day basis, more in the sort of commercial and business side of Gymshark rather than, the, than just the gym. So as per usual, we've got the one-way system going out throughout. Um, and then these sort of cross hat sort of areas here are basically like a giveaway section. You can only have one person in there at uh, any given moment. So the factory, which again is a big room, we only have three people in at a time. 
To be fair, this has changed a little bit since last time that we were here. So now we're completely set up with sewing machines. Like I said, they're not really in use at the moment. There's only three people in here at the moment and through into the seamless machine room through there, there's only one person at a time, which to be fair, isn't too big a deal just because they are sort of automated machines and once you've got them set up, they can just run. And yeah, we are slowly but surely getting set up in here. We've got our embroidery machine, we've got our heat press, we've got our sewing machines. Oh, this is cool. The Gymshark Education Centre on pattern making. How cool is that? I think what's really important to me is, especially as someone that went to university, albeit only for just, I think just over a year, it's really important to me that we offer great internships. And I was actually chatting to someone who's done an internship in our innovation department yesterday, and they were telling me how amazing it was, the amount of sort of things that they got to access and the work that they got to do. I think some of their friends were sort of making the coffee for the person that makes the tea a little bit. And I think what, one of the things I'm really proud of and passionate about at Gymshark is that we give true access to people that are coming to Gymshark to learn. Because I mean, especially in the textile industry and in the innovation industry, or if you're trying to really do game changing things, it's really difficult to know where to go in the UK, let alone know where to go and somewhere where you can really sort of push yourself and learn and get to do cool things and get that level of autonomy that generally interns don't get. So yeah, well, I could do with, I could do with running through one of these to be fair. Ah, these are really cool. So this is a product that the innovation department was, was working on. Um, so as I've said now, now I'm in the product role, I'm working a lot more closely with innovation and particularly product innovation. This is absolutely amazing and what we're trying to do is get our athletes to come to us with problems that they've had, whether it's in their product, in their fit, in the way that it works when they're lifting in the gym or running or whatever they're doing. And then the innovation department will go off and try and solve that problem. Can't tell you what this is just yet, but it's absolutely brilliant. It's going to be game changing. And it's the sort of stuff that we're looking to start to patent as a business as we try and build up our own sort of intellectual property and become a true, true leader in innovation. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a massive fan of Shopify, a massive fan of Apple, true innovators in their field. And I want Gymshark to be exactly the same in what we do. And this is the first step. Oh, look, they've got a fabric innovation center. Fiber, yarn, fabric, examples. This is so cool. This is really cool, this, honestly. I am gonna ask if I can do one of them, that you can just come in and get to some sort of like a crash course uh, in fabric and in, is it fits and grades, and I think it was. But yeah, this is amazing. So if we poke our head in here, I don't think there'll be too much to see. Oh wow, that is cool, isn't it? So this is a seamless machine. And it's actually cool to see things moving. It looks like it's not running, but it looks like it's set up. So a lot of the product that we do is seamless, particularly like, I mean, this is what I'm wearing is seamless. So it would have come off one of these machines, leggings, t-shirts and things like that. And it's something that Gymshark leads the way in. And that's why we've invested in these machines and we're investing further in seamless. And it essentially allows you to create a tubular garment with no seams rather than having to stick seams down the side. And then, I mean, if this was a pair of leggings, you'd sort of cut up the middle and sort of sew it together. but. The thing is with seamless is, like I said, it's super stretchy, it's tubular, so there's much less seams than a cut and sew garment. It fits incredibly well. Like I said, I'm a massive fan of it. And in what Gymshark is trying to do in the fitness world, so much of it is around creating an incredible fit. So yeah, seamless is really, really important to us. And it's something that I'm really proud of that we are leading the way in. So here are our seamless machines. Again, only allowed one person in at a time here. We are sort of breaking the rule, James, so we should get out. Right, town hall. So it looks fairly similar, although the capacity is usually 100 and by the looks of things, it's now what? 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, not a lot of people in here at once. So well, this is probably the biggest room we've got on the entire Gymshark campus. So in terms of doing large scale presentations, this is, a, this is us about capacity at the moment in this new world. So sort of last piece of downstairs will be the app studio. Capacity of six in here. All of the app videos are filmed in here in this room. And if anyone doesn't know the backstory, we did a shoot with Nikki Blackater for her first range in Los Angeles, and the room looked absolutely amazing. So what we did is we recreated it here at Gymshark headquarters, and now this is where we can do a lot of filming, a lot of shooting, and essentially all of the app content is done right in this room. And once it's all set up, it looks like you're in a lovely room in Los Angeles, which is very useful. So upstairs, all the e-com studios are set up. So if I follow the one way around here, it looks like this is the only studio that we're running at the moment, but if we head out here, we're gonna head into sort of office space for the lifting club. 
fairly standard. The desk capacity is drastically reduced, so here you would normally have six people. Currently only got two people sitting on the banker desk, so again, keeping everything uber safe and nicely set up. So we've toured the entire of the lifting club and I've got to say, I'm so, so impressed with the way that the guys have set it up. The one-way system is perfect. The way that we've separated all the machines, keeping all the different rooms external to the gym completely and utterly isolated and safe, but also trying to maintain productivity and progress in the business. It's just an amazing, amazing setup. And at no point has anyone's safety been compromised in any way. So super, super proud of the Gymshark property team and very interested to see how this building works in the new normal. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It makes a big, big, big difference. I know a lot of people that are watching me sort of fall on the videos and not too many of you are subscribed so I would absolutely massively appreciate it if you could subscribe to me. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.